welcome back. Thank you for joining us again. We're do continuing on with our virtual booth for bra day. Today we have overcomers. We have Jessica and Jenny here with us. Um, ladies, do you want to give us an overview of your organization and awesome. what you guys provide to the local community? Yeah, sure. So we are a 501c3 nonprofit here uh, in San Antonio and the surrounding areas. Um, we service the breast cancer community, and we're try just trying to make a difference in the, breast, in the lives of breast cancer uh, patients from early diagnosis all the way up to the very end. So we have work workshops that we host. Um, we do retreats every year, um, and we also do this wonderful fundraiser that we're doing in the month of October is our Pink Under the Tree, um, where we actually raise money to help support breast cancer um, survivors and their families for the holidays. One of our special ones. Oh, we love it. We love it. And can you tell us of what one of your most memorable moments with the organization is? Ooh. We have a lot of moments. <sighs> That's going to be tough. I, I think for me, um, okay, there's two. Sorry. I'm going to give two, two examples. Um, the first example was at our very first retreat that we did, and it was um, a huge leap of faith to even take this retreat and load up all these women and go to Port A and just love on them and, and help them nutrition wise, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and getting the feedback that we had when they got back from that retreat, they really did feel loved and special and, and just, I guess the best way I could say it is they didn't feel like cancer was with them that weekend. And to me, that restored so much peace because I got to see in their faces just that look of, okay, cancer wasn't part of my life this weekend. I got to be alone. I got to have time to myself and didn't think about cancer. And Definitely. it's just a special memory. Mm -hmm. Second one mm -hmm. is for Pink Out of the Tree because you really, really get to see the needs of what women have it's not a want they're not asking for a trip or they're not asking for a car they literally have needs for christmas they're too sick they can't go shopping for their family maybe they don't even have the resources to bless their kids and we have had the most humble requests from a fire extinguisher to a blanket to keep them warm um, and last year's sweet lady that was like, I just can't get up out of my bed. If you could help me get a lift chair so I can get out of my bed and be able to move in my house, that's all I want for Christmas. So it's things like that, that it's like their true needs, they're not wants. And that just solidifies to us why we do what we do. Yeah. yeah. All right. And because today is broad day, can you share with us why you feel it's important for women to be fully educated on all of their reconstruction options? Hmm. Wow. Well, I mean, as a woman, I mean, yeah. just knowing, you know, that wanted to be, feel whole again, wanted to feel normal again, knowing that there are options and there's so many of them. Like we didn't even know, I even never knew about um, the deep flap. I mean, I think it's, it's amazing that we have all these options. Um, you know, as breast cancer survivors, you know, we do want to feel normal again. And it's just empowering knowing that, you know, we have a lot of options. It is, and this, you know, what is this, our fourth or fifth bra day? Yeah. Um, you know, as pa our patients ourselves, I remember distinctly, I came in 2014, my hair was falling out in clumps, and this was the very first breast cancer anything I went to, and I was just greeted so warmly by the staff and everybody here, and I was like, Oh my gosh, and just to have that reassurance that everything was going to be okay is so empowering to you because in the beginning, you don't know what's happening to you. You were literally on a hamster wheel hoping you just want to cut the thing out and move on. But the truth is it's a process and having PRMA as a family early on really just solidified our partnership and the love that we have for y'all because now as we're giving back um, as survivors ourselves and, and trying to make it a better place for our sisters truly is a gift. And so we're honored to be here again with you. All right, ladies. And how can people um, interested in connecting with you get in contact? They can reach us on social media. They can go to overcomersbreastcancer.com. That is our webpage. Uh, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on Pinterest. <laughs> you name it, we're on it. I <laughs> we're mean, there. Yeah. And I mean, really just our Facebook page. Um, we can, you can sign up for our newsletter um, and get and stay connected that way. Absolutely. We have a lot of things going on. All Absolutely. The time. And October is just an exciting month and we honestly could not be more thankful to the community for rallying around our organization and supporting us. We have so many fundraisers this month and 
every dollar this month is going to Pink Under the Tree. So whether you support us at Brighton, at North Star Mall, Stone Oak, or La Cantera, whether you attend the Kendra Scott Give Back 48 hour event, the self-defense class, chicken and pickle, chicken and pickle painting with a twist, yeah. um, boot camp for boobies. Boot camp for boobies. We've got a lot of things going we on. We have a t-shirt yeah. fundraiser going on from Give More. All of these amazing organizations have said, we see what you do and we know that all of the money is going back to these women and we want to support you. So this is an exciting time for us. Mm -hmm. Cancer did not stop because of COVID and we are just so thankful that so many people recognize that and see that there's still such a need to help and love these women. So we're excited to be yeah. here and tell you all about it. Perfect. Okay. And thank you so much for being with us today, ladies. Yes, if somebody same. wants to get in contact or wants to volunteer with you, how would they do that? Absolutely. So we, the one thing that we love is everybody on our leadership team is a breast cancer survivor. So they have walked what we've walked. Um, they've gone to the nine week workshop. They have said, you know what? This was important to me. I want to give back. So all of our programs and our leaders are run by survivors. And if that's not something that you're able to do and you're like, you know what, but I can make things for you. I can attend your events. I can help you on social media. I can write thank you cards. I can sit there and be with a survivor and message her and text her and give her lots of love. If any of those things describes you or if you know what, if you have an idea, that we haven't thought of and you're like, I wanna get on board with that team, please contact us. We have a volunteer tab on our website and we would love to sit with you. We always say, don't we, that the minute you are introduced to us, you are family and you are family for as long as you want us to be. We're never gonna push ourselves on you. If you're like, I wanna be with you guys and you're good and you're walking away, we wish you the best, but forever, you're family. You're, stuck. you're family. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much.